What's up, YouTube? It's your boy JPZ on the keys, and it's too easy to video today. And we got some Jeremy Clarkson making fun of Americans. Speaking fun of Jeremy Clarkson. Speaking of Jeremy Clarkson, I definitely want to drop a Top Gear reaction, like a new Top Gear reaction this weekend, either Saturday or Sunday. So stay tuned to the Patreon. Definitely check out the Patreon. The link to that will be in the description. All the content on there is free to watch, so you know, feel free to become a member, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty, it's only $5 tier and $3 tier, you know, I'm not charging you $20 a month to watch videos, you know, like, oh, come on, you know, it's always good to support your local content creators. <laughs> Alright, but thank you so much for all the support you guys that have been giving on my channel recently, you know what I mean? You know, just everyone who's been watching. Uh, check out my other two channels, my History's Biggest Villains channel. And my uh, video game channel. I just dropped a game video this morning. So definitely check it out. The link will be in the description to both of those channels. So what I'm going to do is get to this. So I'm this up. And if this were America, it would be full of people doing whatever it is they do. Incest, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty insects. Old people. Fat people. A lot of people who are Cheese, cheese with that, cheese with that, and they'll shoot you. It also <laughs> says it has a completely flat belly. The only thing in America that has. Yeah, um, all right. Good news. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Rural inbreds this week. Hummer, the people who make those enormous pseudo military off roaders, you know, this sort of thing, they have come out with a new range. Of aftershave and smelly stuff. There it is. Hummer. Mmm, it's the first name that springs from. Do you have a look at that? There you go. Yeah. Nice. When you open the top, listen to the sound. Bang, 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 it was a holiday, but actually it was a fly drive holiday, so it wasn't a holiday at all because, of course, you get to the car hire desk and there's the gormless man with the spiky hair and he types War and Peace into his computer for 16 hours mm. and then he doesn't know where England is and he steals your driving licence and then he directs you to a car park where your car isn't. Is it? You see, the problem is is that the Americans aren't good on colours and so they, you basically you pay a fortune for the damn thing and they say you can have it in red, white, black, yellow or blue. What do we think? Steady. <laughs> it's only just, just quickly, okay? News from America, land of the free. <laughs> and they've announced in Florida that it's now legal, that's legal for bikers to ride their motorcycles without a crash helmet as long as they can prove they've got $10,000 worth of health insurance. Well, that's just stupid. Apart from anything else, what's the point of insuring Americans' head? There's nothing in it. <laughs> Home to all the most successful drug dealers. This year's Mr. Big Mac and Silicon Valley. All very glamorous. I was in America a couple of... <laughs> That's a double entendre, I like that. <laughs> ...years ago, filming at this tech place in Texas, which is the biggest car dealership in the world. The frontage is a mile long. And I said to the guy who owned it, what do you sell here? And he went, we sell a lot. And he mispronounced every single argument. Hyundai, Mitsubishi, <laughs> Toyota, <laughs> Nissan, Jaguar, <laughs> BMW. <laughs> every single one of them was wrong. And you call it Hyundai. I prefer Hyundai. Hyundai. I mean, that's how you say it, Jaguar. Ja Jaguar. Well, how, how do you, what do you say, Jaguar? Well, how, do you, how do they say it in the, in the UK? Jaguar is Jaguar. BMW, that's how I say it. BMW or a Beamer. The Americans are very bad at some things. They can't say aluminium. Aluminum. They can't win a war without our help. But mm. the Moroso Motorsports Park is unusual in America because it has left handed turns and some which go right as well. Perhaps that's why it was deserted, too complicated for the colonials. <laughs> or maybe everyone had been murdered. Some say that he's a CIA experiment that went wrong, and that he only eats cheese. All we know is, he's not the Stig, but he is the Stig's American cousin. Big Stig! <laughs> <laughs> the Corvette enthusiast in America is quite 
heavy. Yes, they're, they're bigger gentlemen, are they? Big bones. Well, one of them visited the museum this week and this happened. Mania, and we said oh. a couple of years ago that this is the best road in the world. However, many Americans say, and they do tend to know everything, that's the yeah. case down here at M16. Shut <laughs> up. And a vote Republican flyer. An American. You're American. Oh. You can't be, you know, when they're fat enough. <laughs> and, uh, give me V8. And it'll be rubbish. How do you possibly know? You haven't driven it, they haven't built it yet. Because it's American. All American cars are rubbish. I was over there the other day and I drove that Chrysler 300C SRT8. Have you ever pitched that thing? Yes. Appalling in every way. Why? Oh. Remind me, who were the last four teams in the World Cup? All European. Women's finalists at Wimbledon, both European. Men's finalists, both European. Everything anyone ever does in any walk of life is done better by Europeans, and it's the same with cars. Granted, apart from with American muscle cars, which only the Americans... Why would you have. want an American muscle car? Because they're excited. It's you rubbish. Like it's oh, it's not it's easy. Right. Now you're just hating. Now you're just hating. You want, you want... I know he would like to drive a Mustang. Or, or a char or a challenger or, or hellcat or something you know america american cars ain't too bad you know what i mean a lot of them a good amount of them are but we're being honest but <laughs> uh, right if you're thinking of coming to america this i mean some of the like european the brands are kind of bad though too because like it's a lot of maintenance heavy brands like bmw mercedes-benz like, yeah, that money pit, money pit. A lot of the European cars are money pits, if we're being honest. Western, you got your red lobster where you eat. Everybody's very fat, everybody's very stupid, and everybody's very rude. It's not the holiday program, it's the truth. You've been filming in America, am I right? Oh, yes, and I, I went to America a lot, and I had loads of things to tell you about America, and then I got there, everybody backstage is American. Well, it's a lovely place. Well, no, no, you see, I'm going to see whether you have... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you meet the Americans, because you're not a fan of America, are you? All American I, culture? I, no. <laughs> I don't. Well, I don't know actually, because as you well know, and I'm sure anyone who's been to America knows, it's when you get to that Mr. Big Mac who's running the immigration desk, and you know you can't be funny, you can't be cheeky, you have, because you know that he's going to send you to the back of the queue. Yeah. Well, this changes. Yeah. So we've got, in America, this is very literal in America. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have anyone speaking other languages there, which is why no. American cars always have the words for what it yeah. is written on it, on the switches. Uh, it says it cigarette, mean? lighter, horn, yes. light. Yes. Whereas everywhere else in the world where there are yeah. other languages, yeah, it's symbols. Yeah. That's just how stupid they are. They're, 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 <laughs> <laughs> they are very literal like that. It's like... Um, they call glasses, or spectacles, eyeglasses. They yeah. have to specify where they go on your face. No, but every other word is wrong. I mean, vest. No. No. Pants. No. No. <laughs> when it gets to cars, sedan, hood, fender, freeway, interstate, sidewalk. Trunk. 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 <laughs> Trunk is on the front of an elephant, not the back of a saloon car. But they have no idea. Yeah. Gas. In the boots. They call a liquid gas. <laughs> That makes sense. Oh, that sense of us. You know what? You got me on that one. You got me on that one. You got there are me. other examples of this Americanness too. Cadillac, For instance, TTS. In most cars, all the buttons have mm. symbols on them, so you know what everything does. But in this, everything's written in English because, of course, the whole world speaks English, doesn't it? To someone at Cadillac came across what in America is a very rare book called an atlas. <laughs> in it, they found many strange and exotic places that weren't America. And one of these places was a continent called Europe. And in Europe, they found a country called Germany. And in Germany, they found something called <laughs> the Nürburgring. <laughs> And nor is it the fact that if you buy an American car, you're going to have to commit acts of love with your cousin. And the whole space frame is made from um, aluminum. Whatever that is. Aluminium. Aluminium. It's aluminum. That's aluminum foil. Aluminum. <laughs> Not aluminium. That sounds like, that's mad. That sounds like a lot of syllables. System is showing the fast food icons. American. <laughs> the last thing it goes to, the default setting, fast food. 
How American is that? <laughs> they can't find London, can't find France, but it'll find you a burger. <laughs> find you a burger. <laughs> Iraqi restaurants. <laughs> well, that shut her up. <laughs> the South is it's Christian, short hair. They don't like communists. They really have an irony the efficiency. I honestly believe that in certain parts of America now, people have started to mate with vegetables. What they'll do is they'll strip out all the interior carpets where you go. That saves forty pounds, or which in America is lunch, isn't it? What <laughs> <laughs> are you thinking? No, yeah. they're consistently ugly across their range of one car. And they're designed by Americans who have the aesthetic ability of giraffes. <laughs> it's not to sixty. I ain't gonna lie, them Hummers. Them Hummers are cool, but like them things are like gas chuggers. When you've been guzzling gas, they like chug gas. You get like what, 14 miles a gallon, and then it's like, a lot of the cars, you couldn't even fit them in a normal space, and then it's like, it, it, the design didn't look, I didn't really like, they would look cool at first, and then it's like, the design got kind of ugly, you know what I mean, I don't know. We'll be under four seconds. And the best thing is, it makes you 27% more attractive to your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Why would the South Koreans nuke Hammersmith? They use American guidance systems. No, no. Okay, off topic again. It's basically underneath. It's a Mercedes SLK. Pretty much. It's designed by a British person, and it's been built in Germany. So that's a car for America to be proud of. <laughs> be a really safe car if you crash it. Apparently not. It, uh, here is one that's been crashed, and that doesn't look... Damn! Oh, that's run into an American's buttock. <laughs> <laughs> Um, He's dropped his styrofoam goal. Oh, hell, and oh hell, I've gone and run into my wife. <laughs> <laughs> One of her cheeks has done that. It's a mess. That's a mess. Oh, it's can you play rugby in it? Rugby. Yeah, no rugby. It's if you're watching in America, rugby's a bit like American football, only it's played by men. Uh, <laughs> two Top Gear top tips for you tonight. One, uh, yes, you can buy rather than rent, and two. Don't go to America. <laughs> oh man, that's funny, man. This is this is hilarious because it's like, I mean, I understand. I still kind of understand in a way because it's like, I'm, a lot of American cars are kind of like poor quality. I mean, but some of the British cars are like money pits. If we're being honest, like super money pits, <laughs> like like. Like I've seen, I've seen guys get all the foreign cars, get the BMW, get the Mercedes, get the get the um um like some other like Range Rover. It, 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 wait, I'm I might be slow. Is the, the Range Rover like is that American? I don't think Range Rover is American. I don't I don't think I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like, like Volkswagens. Like a lot of these cars are kind of like low. They're kind of like money pits, if we're being honest. Sometimes, but um, I mean, a lot of American cars aren't too good, too good either. It's like it's like the best kind of cars right now are like are Japanese, like Toyota. Like in terms, I guess in terms of reliability, that's what I think of in terms of like reliability. Like, of course, the car looks good, but is it reliable? Like Toyotas, Hondas, Hyundai's. I don't know about Kia, but I mean Mazdas are okay. But um. <laughs> That was funny, man. I'm going to watch a Top Gear reaction this weekend. Um, stay tuned to my Patreon. Um, thank you so much for all the support. I appreciate all you guys. Um, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm out. Peace.